husband, but he's definitely like looks. I don't know if it's getting married to Beth yeah. or he looks great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I watched the show. I watched the little segment, but I listen. It's amazing how I have serious, but those interviews pop up on the inter internet immediately. Oh, do they? Yeah. So you're on wow. YouTube. Wow. Okay. So let's just make sure that. And where have you been already this morning? I don't know. <laughs> I think you were on Fox. I saw um, a commercial for that. <laughs> You're like, I don't know. <laughs> I understand. A book tour is a blitz. Yeah, it is. I bet this is something completely new for you. Totally. I mean, yes, it's very new. Because people, it's just, it, people don't realize how tiring it is. Yeah, it's exhausting. You know, you wish you do it. But things. I'm like so excited. Last night I had my best night of sleep. The whole time, so I feel so good today. Fabulous here yeah. in Atlanta. Yeah, I had Great. my best night's sleep here in Atlanta. Well, then that's something to be said for Atlanta. Exactly. Well, let's have some fun. I've got All about. Right. Uh, so, sorry, I'm totally geeking so out. Ninety-two nine Dave FM. That's the latest from Mark Broussard called "Keep Coming Back." All right, Maureen McCormick is here. It is so nice to see you. Thank you. It is so nice to be here. Okay, your new book is called Here's the Stor Story, Surviving Marsha Brady and Finding My True Voice. Yes. Now, this book is, once you start reading it, you just can't stop. It, your story is pretty fascinating. Yeah, it is. It's pretty amazing. Now, what I think most people don't realize, and what was shocking to me, mm -hmm. is that you know, correct me if I'm wrong. It okay. seems like yeah. everything kind of opened up for you when you went on Celebrity Fit Club. That's when... Yes. It was such a great experience for me. I turned 50, and I think just turning 50, I kind of felt like, you know what? I don't have to hide anymore. I can be me. I can say what I've been through. This is cathartic. You know, other people can, you know, be reached by this. Why not just come out and be totally honest? Well, I think nobody really knew. Okay, now you've been all over the media. The book comes out. You've right. been on all the shows, and every you know, all you're seeing in the headlines is Marsha Brady was on cocaine. Right. Right. Marsha Brady's a mess. Right, right, right. But I think what's interesting is if the Brady Bunch had come out today, you wouldn't have had the same life. Things would have been very, very different. I think that's why we were all sort of surprised by this. Right, right. Back when we were doing the show. There was no paparazzi, you know, there wasn't the media that there is today. And uh, now, I remember hearing about back in the day, obviously I'm a huge Brady Bunch fan, which we'll get into in a minute, but I remember Lauren Tweeds from oh, right. The Love Boat yes. had a cocaine problem. Yes, in fact, we got high together. Really? Yes. Yeah. I remember hearing that, like, Julie, the cruise director, right. is doing lines. Exactly. Yeah. So, and she had to leave the show. Yes. So, so were you on the love boat at the same time? I was. I was. I was on the love boat at the same time that she was getting high, I was getting high. Everyone was getting high. It was the 70s, the 80s, and it was a huge drug revolution. Revolution. But nobody, so you write about being in, you know, these dens where everybody were doing, they were doing coke for hours, days, and so, but just no, the press didn't know about this. You know, I am amazed that it's never come out. I've been waiting every year of my life going, is somebody going to come out this year? Is somebody going to come out this year? And it, I waited until I came out with it, and I'm amazed. You, I, I'm amazed. I'm amazed, and I'm not amazed, because here you are, you started on the Brady Bunch at 12, 12 years old, and it was just uh, pretty much an overnight success. You know, it wasn't. Okay. The pilot came on, and it didn't do that well, and it got really bad reviews. The critics hated it. So do you think it's been in syndication that's made it so much more of a, because I know that I grew up listening, my assistant Elizabeth, who's 25, uh, grew up watching you do. Yeah. Are you serious? Every day at four. It's <laughs> <laughs> amazing. It blows me away. All these different generations, it blows me away. So, but I think, and this is why I was so fascinated with the book, we're on with Maureen McCormick, your new book is called Here's the Story, is that Watching Marsha Brady, everybody wanted to be Marsha Brady. Everybody thought you were so perfect. You were beautiful. You, you, you were popular. You were the oldest. 
And it wasn't so perfect. It wasn't. It wasn't. Behind the scenes, it was a whole another story. Um, yeah, when I was on the Brady Bunch, it was really, really hard because I had just found out my father had an affair, and I found out through that that my mother had been given syphilis through her mother, who died in a mental institution, not knowing who she was, going insane, and then her father committed suicide a week later, and I thought that my mom had passed the syphilis on to me, and that I was going to go crazy and die in a mental institution. I mean, who, who would have ever known that watching you on Right, that? right, nobody. But it's, it's so weird because, you know, everyone says, you know, what were your favorite parts of the show? My favorite parts of the show were when I was able to cry because it was such a release and it was just, it felt so real to me. Right. It felt more real than, than anything. Than, uh, it, than some of the episodes that are so memorable for, for so many of us. Little did we know right. what was going on behind the scenes.